Hello, we are back for uh, <laughs> some more Mario. Saves coming. Uh, if you randomly clicked on the video, my name is Ian, playing Mario 60 Mario NES. <clears throat> we did recently play 64, but not. This is obviously not 64 for the first time. Um, we just got the World 6. Uh, and I am tired. But we're gonna see how this goes. Oh god. Okay, so I did, Wizard, you did tell me I could ride Lakitu's Cloud. Hey, come here. Alright, never mind, that didn't work out. But <laughs> let's just. There's our extra life. So, um. What we have been doing, if you're new, is uh, saving at the beginning of each world and trying to beat it um, so that uh, um, I can practice. Because the other way around would be trying to beat the game from start every single time, which is how you old head gamers did it. But that sounds very frustrating to me. Can't go in there, looks like. Um... And yeah, World 5 really, uh... Really gave me some frustration. Oh god. So, uh... It'll be interesting to see, because, like, what I find in video games, and I don't know if this is true of everyone, is that there is often a level that everyone thinks is hard. Alright, look at that. That everyone thinks is hard. And it's easy for some people, and really hard for other people. And then, like, some, like, you know, it's flipped. Somebody else will have a level that they're like, oh, I just breeze through it. And then everyone else is like, that level is incredibly difficult. Um, so yeah. Okay, there is. Uh, okay, we're back here. Um, but yeah. I, uh, it's weird, because according to my Fitbit, and, uh, Wizard, I did tag you in the Discord when you watched this. Um, I finally figured out how to make Fitbit groups and stuff, so if you wanna look at that and add me on Fitbit, you can join our group. Um, I think you had Fitbit. Um, but, uh, my Fitbit says I slept well last night. And I <laughs> do not feel like I slept well at all. Um, okay. I do, I only have one student today, so it's not like I have a super busy day. Oh, no, I see the, the nightmare here. Okay, there we go. Um, but, uh, yeah. I don't know, I stayed up kind of late, because the new batch of One Piece dubs dropped. Is this looping? Or are these different? What's happening? <laughs> Um, yeah, so the new episodes of One Piece, um, worked out a lot of writing and stuff yesterday. Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Saturdays, and Sundays are, like, my busy work days. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I just, I didn't sleep great. Uh, we do live in, like, a, we live in the city still, but we have some nature around us. And, um, oh. He's not... Moving? There we go. Um... Uh... Oh god. <laughs> what is this level? Uh, I, I, I wasn't getting any momentum from pressing right on the D-pad. I really think my Switch is dying. Um... <laughs> All right, well, it was a good run. This is this level I can see the challenge in it. Um, I sometimes when I press the D-pad, Mario just does nothing. <laughs> it's very annoying. Um, okay, keep running. Um, but so I have my phone, and I don't have a Google Nest in the bedroom yet, but I do want to get one for the bedroom. Um, oh, they could go through there. Um, but, uh, it's set to imitate, you know, it does the, like, the phone turns on, and it gets 
brighter and brighter and brighter. Oh my god, Lakitu, fuck off. <laughs> um, and it, uh, it plays, like, nature sounds. Um, and so, uh, because there's actually crickets and birds and stuff outside, like, there are probably some in Atlanta proper, but not as much as out here. Um, you know, uh, it, uh, gives me, sometimes I'm sleeping and, like, I'm hearing the sounds and my brain isn't like, oh, that's my alarm. Which is, it's a much better way. Oh, no. Okay, we gotta, we gotta restart. This one's scuffed already. It's a much better way to wake up than, um... <laughs> oh, no. Alright, it's all falling apart. Um, it's a much better way to wake up than like, your alarm playing, like, some little tune or something. But, uh, you know, I'm like, my brain's not like, that's my alarm. My brain is like, oh, that's, uh... Uh... Out of the outside nature outside. <laughs> okay, so how do I get into his cloud if he falls like that? Or do I have to jump on his head to knock him out of the cloud? Um So yeah, like it was like eight o'clock and then like I was laying there and I was like, wait, that's my alarm, not not the outside world. Normally I wake up earlier than that, but I was just tired. Um we do normally go to the gym today, too, but I am debating if I want to go to the gym or just go for, like, a long morning walk. I'm feeling out of it. <laughs> I think I have a little bit of a cold, too, like, the past, um, couple days. Like, I don't feel, like, sick sick, but I don't feel, like, fully engaged, you know? Get out of here, Goomba. We can do this. This level, to me, seems... I scared myself there. Better... than... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Um, some of the other ones, like, it, it seems to make more sense to my brain. Maybe that's, like, the secret to being good at Mario, is you get into, like, a disassociative state. Look at that. I can't believe I hit a piranha plant. <laughs> right, I forgot about you. Take that. Um, so... Well, for people's future notes, too, uh... This week? It'll be like normal, we're gonna have, um... Stardew Valley tomorrow and everything. Um, my nose feels like it's peeling. <laughs> um, Stardew Valley and all that. And then next week, my friend is coming to visit from back home. Oh, I should stay though. Um, so. Oh god, I'm scared. Okay. Um, so I don't. I'm gonna try and get some stuff recorded ahead of time. Oh, that's a... Is that, is that a big bullet bill? Is it, like, different? Ah, okay. Um... Right, and I can use the, the fire bullet to... Um... Get me going fast. Wow, I cleared that. I can't believe that happened. <laughs> um, we're in Bowser's castle. Um... But, uh, so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to record next week. Just my friends there. He might want to record some of the videos with me, but he also, he's doing a double masters in health administration and business. Fuck. Run. Um, and so, he has a lot of schoolwork to do in the morning, even though he's kind of on vacation. Um, but if he wants to be in some videos, he's much better at, like, Mario-style games and stuff than me. Also, I can already see this castle's gonna be hell. Um, so, uh, alright, well, it's not going great. 
those those levels building up to this felt natural, and then I was like, okay, I see, I see where the issue is going to come in here. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, we just gotta make it back. Um. So yeah, you know, to be hit and miss on that stuff. Um. I'm excited to take them to our favorite Korean barbecue place. Um, we also have a great ramen place we like uh, that has a sick-ass robot that leads you to your table and there's a little cat. I can't remember what the, the robot's name is right now. Okay, we have escaped from Lakitu temporarily. We are lacking Lakitu. Um, and then, like I said before, with the newsletter and everything, thanks for signing up, everyone who did. Um, and the first one's going out on Monday, and, uh, it's gonna have, obviously, a picture of a cat, like I said, and then the, you know, information about the new chapter that was released, and then, uh, also, what I've been working on in my story this week, and the past couple weeks entirely, um, is, uh... I don't know what to call it, vampire power scaling? Like, you know, sometimes a classic vampire is great, but I want my vampire to feel slightly unique. So I've been working on my own it, set of vampire rules, you know? Um, so uh, I'm trying to make my vampires interesting in their own special way. They're special little vampires. So I'm gonna have some... Just some thought process about that. Um, especially because it's spooky season. Uh, it all comes together, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't think there was one there. Just keep it going. Right. Annoying Koopa. This might be another level where... So I don't think it's too hard to get to the castle, to be honest. But this might be a level where the castle is annoying enough that we save scum in the castle to get the practice. But for now, we're gonna stick with doing this just to practice the world. <clears throat> Alright. We got this. Now this... This level is about momentum. Oh god. <laughs> Oh, sorry, my brain is like absolute mush right now, so it's a mixture of trying to play Mario <laughs> and trying to think of anything to talk about. All right, well, this one, you know, I already shot. We're definitely going to need more than one life to get through Bowser's castle, so. Um, but yeah. Oh god, how did that happen? Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, so what I thought was happening with my Joy-Cons was that they weren't charging properly, and they definitely weren't. And like I said, I, I swear I just ate my input there. Um, like, I'm not the best Mario player in the world, but I am not bad at platformers, like... You know, I've been around the block a few times. Um, thought he was gonna get me there. Um, but, uh, so, um, yeah, they weren't charging. And I was like, oh, that sucks. But I do have, like, a little mounted charger, because we have, like, eight Joy-Cons, you know? Because people come over, we play Smash, we play Mario Party, blah, blah, blah. Um... And so, uh, I put them in there, and they started to charge fully, and it seemed like they were working better. But then yesterday, when I was recording Harvestella, um, no, I got something in my eye, uh, when I was recording Harvestella, um, I was pressing jump, and my character was not jumping. And it was very frustrating. And now, sometimes I feel like when I'm pressing sideways... Oh my god, I can't believe that missed. Fuck you, piranha plant. <laughs> you know what? We're going back. 
<laughs> um, it, it, uh, feels like Mario's, like, momentum doesn't start as fast as it should. Also, how do I get in your cloud? I wanna know. Like, I get, I kill you and I get in your cloud. Okay. But, like, do I have to jump on your head? Is that what I gotta do? Or, I don't know if, like, like, you know, I'm pushing a button and, like, Mario's in, like, a slide or something, and he's... The but the input's getting eaten for some reason, but it's slightly weird that it's happening in Harvestella, too. Now, Harvestella is, like, a low-budget Square Enix game. Like, I'm having fun with it. It's, it's got, like, an interesting story and everything, but it's not, like, the best-produced... Square Enix game where they would, I think, troubleshoot for all that stuff. Alright. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> He's the greatest winged Koopa of all time. Don't mess around. Just kill him. John Wick style. Oh, there's a water level here. So it seems like, you know, Mario is not only a game made for people to get good at doing- Oh god, I'm being hunted. But also a, um, a game with shortcuts built in to be kind. I actually honestly thought that black edge that I just jumped over had a block on it. Get me out of here. Mario. Oh god. <laughs> I survived? Get out of here. Man, today's one of those days where- so we're reading a book called Not the End of the World. And it's all about how, yes, climate change is bad and stuff like that, but how the conditions for human, like, life are the best they've ever been on mass, right? Everything's about scale. So like, if uh, right, like the the most children are living, the most uh people are out of poverty at this time, stuff like that. Um, and it's very enlightening. Um, and it's like a kind of overcast day. Oh god, I'm scared. Um, I feel like I could just kind of, uh, just, like, hang out and read all day. I only got one student, but, um, I'm also trying to be, get ahead of my writing, binge one piece, but, like, you know, there's a lot of really interesting stuff. Jumped right into it. Um in that about, uh, how, um, you know, like, the things that will make the most change, positive change in climate change. Um, and this is all the stuff you know already, but, like, um, you know, it's, it's kind of debunking the myths that, the doom and gloom of climate change that we've made for ourselves. Alright, how the heck do I get out of here? Because there is a part where... Yeah, here. Oh god, how do I time this? Okay, there's like a perfect spot to jump. Holy crap, this is gonna be a nightmare. Um, right, but like, you know, we... We say, like, oh, if the world gets two degrees... I fucking hate this little fireball here. <laughs> um, I gotta remember that's there. Oh, uh, right, like, if the world... I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm alive? He's alive, but he's dead? Okay, never mind. Alright, so I think if we get back here with the fire flower, we're gonna make a safe state there to practice, because that's the world I'm gonna need to practice on here. Um, I do like the design of 
World 6. Like, it's difficult, but I find it honestly very satisfying. Um... Come here, come here, come here. No, how do I get in your cloud? <laughs> um... Uh, right, but like, you know, so like, we're like, if the world gets two degrees warmer, we're gonna have more storms, we, you know, stuff is gonna go wrong, ocean levels rising, all that stuff, and it's, it's bad news. But, it's not two degrees and the earth becomes unlivable, it's like, just worse. Um, and so like, right, I think climate scientists have created... You know, they, what the author talks about is how climate scientists have created a little bit of a panic around it. And, and like, not in a way that's productive. Like, it's not a motivational panic, like, I've got to write my paper and I've got five hours until class tomorrow. Um, alright, we're gonna, we're gonna start working our way through World 6. <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's the kind of panic where, like, it feels like what people are being told, at least to them, is that nothing can be done. And because of that, um, they freeze, right? It's, it's not, like, helpful to be that afraid. Um, and so, uh, by doing that, we have... Oh, what the heck? How do I get up there? I lost it. Okay. If we come back... You know what? I messed that one up. I need the fire. I'm gonna need to be Big Mario. And I don't really understand how in um... the... uh... Bowser's Castle, how it's possible to get, uh, what's it called? Um, oh, I see. Okay! Um, to get, uh, okay, we found the secret. Um, but to get those, uh, what's it called? Um, the mushrooms in the, that they put in that very fr di difficult section. Okay. Okay, that's where I was supposed to fall, wasn't it? Okay. I was like, did I lose a life by doing that? Because getting the, the coins is nice. Like, I know there's gotta be a strategy for it, um, but my brain, I can kind of see it, but I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, like, it's important to realize, I guess the point the book is making, back to climate change, that things will get worse, but it's not like you know, two degrees and the ocean starts to boil. Every, like, point of a degrees we can, we can, uh, save stuff, like, stop, stop that from happening is very important for just the betterment of, like, uh, human life in general. Oh, wait, we're here. I should have saved. I'm gonna save here. I loaded. I'm dumb. God damn it. <laughs> okay, anyways. We can do this. This is fine. I, I tried to do it too fast. Um, this is an early morning Ian. This is Ian having a mental breakdown. Um, and, like, I really like that one of the things that they did... I am gonna take this. Um... Because, why wouldn't I? Now I know a secret. I did, and I went through it a couple normal times, so... You know. Use what the game gives you. Um... But, uh... They also talk about the conference where they define what sustainability means. Um, so like, right? Making sure that people... I missed the coins. People can live good lives without 
or, uh, or ensuring that we don't take from our children and grandchildren, um, while making sure that, uh, uh, we don't sacrifice human comfort currently, right? We can't, we can't ensure the future, but also have people living poor, poor, difficult, dangerous lives, uh, in the present, too, right? So it's, it's a mixture of both, and so they describe it. Uh oh One controller is connected. Two controllers are connected. Hold on. <laughs> Let me do something. Okay. Um... I knew that controller was having problems. The switch is... Switch in itself is having problems. Oops. No, nope, don't turn off on me, Switch. I need you to connect. Okay. Alright, now. How do I... <laughs> oh, I'm frustrated. We had this happen before. I always have trouble using the Joy-Con when in this this state. Okay, so now what we want to do is drop my switch controller. I want to pair you. Are we paired? And then... No. No, no, no. Take me back in. Do this. There we go. You go back on the charging dock. You're the naughty controller that no one loves anymore. Alright. <laughs> Um, suspend. <laughs> that did eat up some of my time in this world, which is annoying. Um, I mean, both in the game and also quite literally. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I lost a little momentum there. Um, okay. Um, but, uh, more or less, you know, I lost my complete train of thought of where I was on that. <laughs> Why? I guess we're out of sync with the level now, because we didn't start as soon as the level started. Oh no, we're there. Um... So... Uh... Oops. <laughs> you know, basically, uh... Sustainability... The idea of sustainability being a scale that you can balance on current human comfort and future human needs is really interesting to me. Um, I've only got like 120 pages left of it to read, so I'm having I'm having a good time with it. I do wish, and I told this. No, we gotta make it through as Big Mario. I do wish, and I told Ronnie this, that um there was a little more narrative to it because like it's a science book, but the way it's written, it seemed like she's she's started from basically the atmosphere and worked her way down to Earth. Um, and so, uh, and she's kind of got, like, a little bit of a personal narrative weave through there, but it often feels like a list of interesting facts, so I'm not super motivated to read beyond a certain point, if that makes sense. Like, because I'm just, like, I'm reading a list and then when I finish a list, my brain is like, Alright, time to stop, because if you just keep staring at more and more lists, you're not going to retain any information. 
I will say, we made it back to the castles, big ol' Mario. Um, one of the things that I find the most difficult in it, because, like, you know, I think we have good, um, just run, good, uh, beef alternatives, like, meat alternatives and stuff, and we'll, they'll just keep getting better, is, uh, she, oh, oh I almost had it. She talks about, um, you know, like, you gotta think of stuff, like, that's gonna make the most impact, and then work your way down to stuff. Alright, reload. Um, that's gonna make, you know, the minuscule stuff. Like, yes, we should stop using plastic straws. However, right, that's, that's not, like, the biggest point of attack right now. Um... We can- I can do this. Um, but, uh, one of the things is she's like, yeah, it's really, you know, we- We burn a lot of firewood and coal and stuff, and, the, you know, we, we think of firewood as being a natural alternative. I mean, coal is natural, too, but we think of it as being cleaner, but it's really not. I mean, it is, but... How did I- how did I- oh my god. Um, you know, like... In our head, if you burn coal, you know you're doing something really dirty. Um, but if you can, um, I, I, are we through? Are we through? Um, Bowser. Holy crap! He's got hammers. <laughs> what the fuck? He scared me. Okay. Alright, so this is the- it's just that little passage there that's truly nightmarish. Um, okay, that was a major input delay. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> he just refused to jump or stop. <laughs> um, so like, you know, in our head, we're like, oh, we're going to burn wood instead, because that's cleaner, um, than coal. When in fact, like, neither should really <laughs> be burned if we can get rid of them. Um, you know, it all comes, it's, it's stuff like that. I'm like, I love a good campfire. Those are the hard things to give up. Almost messed it up. Come on, we can... We can be Bowser. But, I really, I mean like, eventually the new Switch will come out and we'll get it. Um, and I won't have to worry about these Switch controllers breaking. Unless they're like, hey, the Joy-Cons are backwards compatible. Okay. <laughs> I, I almost had it there. So you really just gotta go for it when you see your opportunity. This is totally doable. In an annoying, kind of, <laughs> optimistic way. I, I think this level is super fair for, like, its difficulty and, like, the way I really enjoy, like, the platforming to get here. Cool. Almost got me. I thought I could get there fast enough. <laughs> okay. Alright. I mean, if I could just get there as Big Mario, we, we win. But, <laughs> honestly, getting there with all the fire rods is going to be difficult. We're in. We're in. Hacker voice. Oh god. Ah! Okay, I've done it. <laughs> Alright, we made it to World 7. Half an hour. I mean, I did have to save Scum, but we, you know, this, this level, honestly, hard, but probably my favorite designed world so far. Okay, World 7, three lives. The sky is no longer crimson. 
Let's just give it a little go and see what we got here. <laughs> okay. I just want to see what this world looks like. We're not going to play for too much longer, because I got to go to the gym. Bullet Bill, can you bullet not? I was hoping for a mushroom. Oh god. <laughs> this is hard. This is shattered. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, well that's hell right there. Alright. So I think this is a level about just going. I also bet there's a secret there, probably like one of those vines. Um, on that platform there. So, also, to wrap up, um, you know, we've been saying we're gonna play Fable for a while, and I do really want to play Fable. Um, but I also think Ronnie is a pretty big Fable fan. Um, run. Oh my god, he can jump through two platforms? That jerk. So I don't know if we want to try and record Fable off stream or if we oops um if we want to like you know like beat Mario and then do Fable and see if Ronnie wants to play it with me um or if we want to beat Matt so we're working on Star Wars Outlaws uh which it's got a lot of stuff you can play that game for a long long time I think Ronnie and I it's not my favorite thing in the world, I, even as a big Star Wars fan. So, we wanted to beat that, and then Mass Effect 3, and then maybe Fable after that. And then we would get like four hours in at a time, you know? Because Fable's probably a little bit longer, um, with all its exploration and everything. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm having fun with Mario. I also do want to play more Mario, so it's kind of hard to decide what's coming up next. Um, but we'll stop there. We made it to World 7, and we'll see... How we get through bullet bills hell next time.